welcome back to my youtube channel i am defi sayo and i'm a travel and lifestyle brand as well as a tourism development advocate so today i have invited michael yeah i invited michael over to tell us more about south africa tourism basically places to visit south africa and whatnot so that you guys can learn not just you guys me too i know i invite these people on purpose like okay a lot of you guys telling me let us tell the old people at the same time you're telling me you're telling my audience at the same time so i hope this video is of some help to you yeah so let's get straight into the first question i asked him what should people expect when they come to south africa i'm michael cost from the michael cost youtube channel i'm a south african youtuber but here are a few things you should know before traveling to south africa tip number one brush up on your south african slang now you might not know some south african slang words so go through to my youtube channel and watch a few of my slang videos it will help you prod the tell which means speak the language Tip number two, be wary of your surroundings and your belongings. Now, this might be an obvious travel tip, but a lot of tourists come here to South Africa and leave their bags or their items lying around or are not wary of their surroundings and get mugged. Make sure you ask about places that you are visiting to make sure that it is a safe location that you are going to and make sure that your travel is safe as well. Tip number three, it's always easier to have a local guide or friend in the city in South Africa to show you the right places to go to. I also asked him where are the places people should visit when it comes to South Africa. I know South Africa is a beautiful place. Like it's the most, like it's the most noise made about or what's the english gone it's the place that people have made the most noise about in africa like that's the only place we have in africa at the same time you still have you speculate should i go to cape town should i go to johannesburg like where's the best place to visit right and here goes what he said and here are two destinations in south africa that you should visit and they are johannesburg and cape town south africa has so many destinations to offer tourists it has durban which is the warm indian ocean and cape town which is the cold atlantic ocean it has safaris kruger national park is one of the most visited places in south africa but for me personally i feel that johannesburg and cape town have incredible history incredible offerings for tourists cape town is a beautiful city and is my second home i love to visit cape town it has so much south african history it has so many cultures and so much diversity outside of the city let me know if you're also a south african where do you also suggest people should visit in south africa leave it in the comment section last question is what do you think needs to be improved on in south africa because like i always tell people i'm a tourism development advocate i'm always advocating for tourism development in nigeria and africa at large we want the development of our country and of our continent we don't want to be lagging behind we want our story to change we just don't want us to be near that nigeria this south africa that like we don't want the negative news we want the positive news so how do we get there is by developing so what do you think needs to be developed and this is what you said the major problem i have with cape town is that it has large inequalities that's a hardy dog now that's a south african bird <laughs> making noise what i don't like about cape town is outside of the city in the southern suburbs you have the northern areas which have a lot of poverty and inequalities happening and that is something that i think cape town has not improved on I wish that more development was happening in the Cape Flats to make sure that livelihood of the people who live in the Cape Flats is a lot better and is equal to the people who are living in the Cape Town City Bowl. Now I'm a Joburger. Now a Joburger is someone who lives in Johannesburg. I've been born, raised and still living in Johannesburg. And for me, it has such a massive offering for tourists because it is so big. It's so big in comparison to Cape Town. What I don't like about Johannesburg though is the traffic, number one. Although Cape Town has even worse traffic. The second thing that I don't like about Johannesburg is the crime levels are extremely high here in the city. And Johannesburg city center is a no-go zone for tourists unfortunately because of the crime levels. Both cities are completely different from one another if you know where to look or where to go or who you know to take you to the places you need to go. Thank you so much for having me a part of this collaboration and I hope to see you in South Africa. For more South African content, make sure you check out my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you in some way and I hope it was able to push you to make your next travel decision 
in Africa. Uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, I've done some other videos featuring other um, YouTubers and travelers in the community that I'm aware of. Go and check out their videos over here. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if you think it's worth liking, if you enjoyed it. <laughs> and if you want to share it, please do share. And subscribe to my channel if you're yet to. You're going to be expecting more views on travels, tourism, development advocacy, and lifestyle. Yeah, that's it, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace.